Hi guys! It's been a while since I've made my last video tutorial here on my YouTube channel. That is why I decided to make another AutoAd tutorial using AutoAd 2022 on Mac OS. So for today's video, magagawa tayo ng isang tutorial kung paano gumawa ng isometric figure gamit ang AutoCAD 2022 sa Mac OS. So, as you can see, on the upper right side ng ating screen, nandiyan yung figure natin na gagawin. So, first is we need to set up our AutoCAD. Kasi once na yung AutoCAD natin nasa orthographic view na ng AutoCAD, hindi tayo makapagawa ng isometric view na figure. So, first is we need to type ISO draft and then change natin yung view natin kung saan side tayo or part ng isometric unang mag-start. So, I will start first on the top part. So, I will choose the isoplane top and then click on ortho mode. Kasi kapag hindi natin kinilik yung ortho mode or in-enable, yung line natin is kung saan saan mapupunta. Mas may hirapan tayo so, when we click the auto mode, straight lang yung pupunta ng line natin kahit saan natin itapat yung cursor. So, now we will now start. So, first is the upper part. So, type L, in short for line, then press enter, then click anywhere, and the size or the dimension is 45. So, type 45, then press enter. Then the next one is 15, then press enter, another 45, press enter, and 15 to close it. So now, tapos na tayo sa unang part ng upper part ng figure. Now we will now go on the right side ng figure. So we need, again, type ISO, press enter, then change it to ISO plane right. Then, click natin doon sa end point na ginawa natin last time. So, press L, then enter. Find the end point. So, click. And then, the dimension, which is 55. Then, press enter. Then, the dimension of this one is 60. Type 60. Press enter. And this one is 60 minus 20 is 40. So, 40. Press enter. And then, connect. Kasi the figure, makikita natin na sarado. So, we need to connect that one. So, next is the upper part again. Kailangan marunong tayo tumingin doon sa figure. So, this one is in the upper part or top view. So, we need to change our view to isodraft. I type isodraft, then press enter. Then change it to isoplane top. Then press L again, enter. Itong dimension naman na to, since wala, kailangan natin hanapin. So, 40 minus 15, 25, press enter. This one again is 60, press enter, and again 25. Now, tapos na tayo sa upper part ng line, ng mga line. So, we will now proceed again on the right side. So, we need to type again the ISO. ISO for ISO draft, then press enter. And then change it to right and then click L, press enter this one is 20 this one is 10 this one is 10 this one is 40 this one is 10 this one is 10 and to close it enter 20 press enter so para i-exit natin yung line i-press natin yung escape now, tapos na tayo sa right side, sa upper side. We will now proceed on the left side. So, we need again to type ISO, drop, press enter. Click on ISO plane left. And then, L, enter. Find the end point and then click. And enter the dimension which is 40. And this one is 60. Then, connect. So, as you can see, may kulang na isang line, which is this one. So, just press N, then enter, and then connect. So, now, tapos na tayo sa lahat ng line. Mag Magpuproceed naman tayo sa mga ellipse. So, 
we need first to change our view, isodraft again, and then change it into isoplane top since ang gagawin natin is yung small circle with a dimension of 10. So, we need to type EL short, in short for ellipse and then press enter. And as you can see, meron tayong pagpipilian. Arc, center, or iser, isocircle. So, so, since we are doing a an isometric figure, we will choose isocircle. So, press I and then enter. And then, look for the midpoint. Huwag nyo i-click, just find it. And then, as you can see, nakita na natin yung midpoint. And then, click. So, the dimension is 10. So, the radius of this ellipse is 5. So, we need to type 5 and then press enter. So, now we are done on the small one. We will now proceed on the bigger one. So, this one is in the right side of the figure. So, we need to change our view. Isodraft, press enter. And then, choose the isoplane right. So, ganun lang din yung procedure. Uh, press EN for ellipse, then press enter, and then choose the isocircle, type I, and then enter, and look for the midpoint. As may makikita kayong nag-cross, nag-tama yung dalawang line. So, just click yung part na yun. And then again, identify the radius. The dimension is 20, so the radius is 10. So, type 10, and then press enter. So that's all. We are now done making this isometric figure. So I hope na may natutunan kayo and I hope na nakatulong tong video na to para sa inyo. For the next part, abangan nyo, we will making the orthographic view ng figure na to. Thank you!